A principle within the rules of tennis is that play is continuous. We have discussed the time between points, but there are some exceptions when additional time is allowed. If a player is suffering from a medical condition, a trainer or doctor can be called onto the court at the next change of ends, or immediately if the injury is acute. The trainer then decides if the player can have a medical timeout to receive treatment. This applies either when the player gets injured or when they are feeling sick. In some of these cases, the player is unable to continue because the condition is too serious and they are forced to retire from the match. As with Anna Ivanovic here. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, Ms. Ivanovic has to retire due to injury. Another reason for stopping the match is when a player's equipment is damaged or broken, although this doesn't apply to the racket. Here, Svetlana Kuznetsova needs a shoe replacement after a lace breaks when sliding for the ball. In professional tennis, extra time on one changeover is also allowed for players to change wet shoes and socks. Roddick and Safin are mid-change here at the Australian Open. Players are also allowed to leave the court for up to two toilet breaks, depending on the event. They should go at the end of the set and an official goes with the player to make sure they do not receive coaching or treatment. And they don't break the rules in any way. Officials need to react quickly sometimes. Rain is enough to dampen any occasion. The weather can mean a delay in play. As soon as the court is dangerous to the players, play must be suspended. This doesn't just happen at Wimbledon. Tournaments all over the world are affected. Another reason for suspending play is darkness. Here at Roland Garros, Andy Roddick complains about the light, but the officials correctly tell him to continue. OK, I want to ask you a question. When, when, when we started, what did the sky look like? Suspensions for darkness should, when possible, take place at the end of a set or after an even number of games. However, on this occasion, Monfils went on to claim victory.